hell are you staring at, boy? Rachel, did you hurt yourself? When? When you fell from the heavens. You're such a twat sometimes, Alex. Cheers. Come in, then. Well, my dad takes us to the cinema. What'd you go and see? Oh, just some crappy old romance story. <coughs> what, you mean Tides of Passion? Yeah, I guess. What did you do? Not much. I had the coolest dream ever. Oh, what? The one where you were dressed as a turkey at Christmas and all the turkey chefs came chasing after you in knives and machetes? No, I only had that one once. It's about unbridled passion in the 16th century and I was the Queen of England. Oh, I had this really bad nightmare last night. I dreamt that I was being tortured by a man with a knife the size of my... I don't think I really want to know. No, it was really scary. I was tied up in the corner of this room and there was a bunch of candles and stuff. It all seemed so real. What else was there? I can't remember the man's face, but the way he talked seemed really familiar. What do you mean? I don't know, I just did. My mum has this book on child psychology and stuff like that and she always looks up her nightmares in it. She seems to think that it might help us understand our deeper feelings. You know what she's like. Yeah, she's a bit of a freak. She's, she's not a freak, she's just interested in that kind of stuff. Yeah, as I said, she's a freak. Do you want to know what it means or not? Go on then. I know it's here somewhere. What does it look like? It... Is this it? Yeah, that's it. Give it here. It says here that you're dreaming about something you've experienced in a past life. Or something you have fantasies about. Do you honestly think that I fantasise about being tortured and stuff like that? OK, that means it's nothing kinky, so it must be the past life thing. This is a load of crap. Do you really expect me to believe this? I remember watching this TV programme once about a boy in India who went on a visit with his family. He kept saying that he'd seen all the things before. But his family had never been there. They went into the shop and the boy knew everything about the shop assistant and he claimed to be her husband. But she said her husband was shot in the head in a bank robbery. The family, thinking oh, I think more of it, went home. Two months later, the boy had his head shaved for the summer. It turns out he had a massive birthmark on his head in the exact spot the lady said her husband had been shot. I can't remember if it was true or not, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. Really? How do you know? Because Elvis told me at the bus stop last week. Have you got any birthmarks? Everybody's got birthmarks. You've got that huge one on the end of your shoulders. Oh, I'm sorry, that's your head. Have you or haven't you? Only this one on my wrist. I think I might have got that from trying to slash them after I met you. Oh, hardy are just shut up. This past life stuff has been scientifically proven. To do what? Remove twice as much dandruff? You just aren't worth the hassle. Oh, don't be like that. If you're still interested, the place I was in was a lot like the old barn next to College Farm. Oh, yeah. Maybe we could go and look there tomorrow. Perhaps it would help. OK. The more you scream, the more your larynx moves. You do know what your larynx is, don't you? Don't mess with me, boy. I'm the one holding the aces in this pack of cards. Do you understand me? So, you going to this go with me or not? No. Oh, come on, why not? We've known each other ages. Exactly, I know what you're like. The girl with the blonde hair will walk past you again, and you'll follow her around like she's got a bloody lead tied round your neck. And you'll leave me with Nigel, the freak winter bottle. It won't be like that, I promise. Anyway, Melissa's going to visit her grand that weekend, so she won't be there. So it's Melissa now, is it? How long have we been on first name terms? It's supposed to be supposed to be in the bottle at her sister's party. Yeah, right, and I'm the Queen of England. It's Sheba. Oh, whatever, are we going to this barn or what? OK, then, I just want to confirm something, though. What? Is that a yes or a no? Well, I've thought about it and I think I'll go with no. Oh, come on, Rachel. Rachel, wait up!
can't hear it. I can't remember much anyway. What about that happening? In the corner, sort of thing. Before I go completely mad. <sighs> Ten minutes, Miss Blackwater. Oh, yes, Miss. No, Miss. Three bags full, Miss. I reckon you fancy her. Yeah. So are you only jealous? What? You think I like her too? Oh no, what? Hey, what have I found? I said, do you want to look at the stars? I fancy myself as a bit of a... Oh, what do you call it? Astrologer. You know? Every one of those itty bitty stars is bigger than the Earth. You see this thing that's happening now? It's written in the stars. It's your destiny to die here. I would have asked you to join me, but I didn't think you'd be too keen on the idea, so I might just have to help you along a bit. The more you scream, the more your larynx moves. You do know what your larynx is, don't you? Start giving me some goddamn respect! Why? 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 Oh, you're so full of yourself, aren't you? You can't even begin to realise the magnitude of what I'm doing for you. I'm going to be the one that grants all your wishes. There'll be no more war or violence where you're going. All your dreams will become reality. Well, what if I don't dream? Oh, you'll dream all right. If only you knew what you dreamed. I've seen your ideas change people like you would never believe. I can see what's going on inside your head, even if you can't see as deep into it as me. Do the stars really talk to you? Can't you hear them? No. What are they saying? They're saying... They're saying that... What? They're saying that your dreams, everyone's dreams, have a meaning. They're saying they need you. They want to teach you. My dreams mean squat. You can't just give me this crap about stars and stuff and expect me to believe it. It means 